another separation of variables. So uh, let's uh, bring in uh, the terms with y over to one side and the terms with x over to one side. So we have a root x times root y uh, because the root of x plus y can be rewritten as root x times root y. Uh, let's take dx over to the other side. So in short, we are cross multiplying. So uh, uh, the y root y comes in the denominator over to the other side and the dx goes over to the other side. And now we can integrate. Before, before integrating, let's uh, bring this 1 over root y over to the numerator. So the power will become negative. So it's y raised to minus 1 over 2 dy. Integration, this is x raised to 1 over 2 dx integration. So over here, the integration of y raised to minus 1 over 2 dy is going to be my y raised to 1 over 2 over 1 over 2. And this will be y, x raised to 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus c. So uh, this is just a matter of simplification now. If we do that, uh, the 2 comes on top. So it becomes 2 times y raised to 1 over 2. This becomes 2 over 3 times x raised to 3 over 2 plus c. So uh, this can be rewritten as 2 root y is equal to 2 over 3 uh, x raised to 3 over 2 plus c. So this is the final answer. Thank you.